If we have a closer look at every Varta automotive or truck battery, on the front there is the power frame icon. So let's have a look why the power frame is so important. Lead acid batteries have a history of more than 100 years. During this long journey, the technology, performance and efficiency continually improved. The latest improvement is the power frame grid and the manufacturing process behind it. Today, there are four different types of grid that you can find in a battery. But why is there so many types of grid? What drives the need for so many grids? And how do you think that they compare for conductivity, process quality, robustness, productivity, and CO2 footprint? The production of casted grids is a manual process. This process is now obsolete from Varta. It's obsolete because the workers were exposed to molten lead, steam and fumes. And being a manual process, it meant that there were deviations in the final product. And as a grid is the heart of the battery, deviations in process and quality are not acceptable. The power frame grid provides best-in-class conductivity thanks to the optimised shape. Because this grid is not cast but stamped, the design is not limited by the casting process but can be optimised to the electrical and performance requirements. Question. When you compare the power frame grid with other grids on this slide, what do you see? The frame compared to expanded, the arrangement of the conducting paths towards the lug, the conducting paths become wider towards the lug. Optimise size of the pattern. For the production of power frame grids, a completely new manufacturing process and machines have been developed. During this development, the process quality was one of the key aspects. Today, the process allows close monitoring of the grid thickness, which leads to high reliability of the product quality. In addition, an image-based process ensures that the grid is compliant with a specified shape. In addition to the strong frame, the freedom during the design process helps also strengthen the parts of the grid where high mechanical stress could occur. This leads to a best-in-class robustness of the grids. Beside the process quality, naturally the productivity of the manufacturing process was one of the key parameters during the development phase. This optimised process minimises waste and idling times. The optimised power frame process is one of the key elements that enable us to produce more than 150 million batteries worldwide per year. Energy efficiency and linked to that the improvement in the CO2 footprint is another benefit of the optimised power frame process. This process needs 20% less energy than other manufacturing methods and is fully aligned with our commitment to take care of our environment and the planet. So now let's have a look at the highlights for each type of grid. State of the art manufacturing process. Lowest internal resistance for best charge acceptance. Optimised grid shape for best cranking performance. Robust and continuous manufacturing process. The grid should only be used for a negative electrode. Reliable performance and product quality. Continuous manufacturing process. Recommended for negative electrode due to shape. Production process requires weaker alloy. Good conductivity thanks to optimised shape. Manual and obsolete process. Potentially high deviations in the production process. We briefly touched on that Varta only used an expanded grid for their negative plate and that the power frame grid has superior conductivity due to its shape. The role of the grid is to carry the current produced in the plates to the connectors. The animation illustrates very clearly that the conductive path of the electrons is much longer in the expanded grid than in the power frame grid. With regard to the battery performance, this longer path means a higher internal resistance and an inhibited current flow. Keep this in mind also for the next part. Mm -hmm.